Holographic displays are a promising direction for virtual and augmented reality systems. While holograms can theoretically encode the wavefront to be displayed with high fidelity, often, faster CGH techniques struggle to preserve things such as resolution or view-dependent effects. One class of CGH algorithms that support view-dependent effects is a holographic stereogram. Starting from the basics, here we see a phase SLM and a point. In order to encode the point, the SLM would display a phase profile that matches that of the wavefront of the point incident on the SLM. Stereograms divide the SLM into a set of discrete hogles and approximate this phase profile with a set of linear phase functions, or plane waves. To better understand the stereogram, let's step back and take a look at the light field, which can be thought of as the ray optics equivalent to the hologram. Here, every ray from the point is encoded by a position on the SLM and direction. Using the two-plane parameterization, the epipolar image of the light field shows that the point becomes a line whose slope depends on the distance. It turns out that the Fourier transform of a single Hogel of the stereogram corresponds to sampling a single spatial location within the epipolar image. In fact, if we were to window an FFT the ideal phase function, which is to say, the short time Fourier transform, or STFT, we would get the light field with some blurring due to this base bandwidth product. Let's switch to 2D. Here we have the lens function for a point at some distance. Applying the STFT, we would obtain a 4D light field, which can be used to create a stereogram. The most basic holographic stereogram applies an inverse Fourier transform, but without overlapping the Hogels, necessarily discarding spatial information in proportion to the Hogel size. Technically, we also discard the phase in creating a light field, but this can be recovered using depth to get a phase-added stereogram. To further improve the result, we can take a light field that is densely sampled angularly to create an accurate phase-added stereogram. That said, we know that the STFT is normally inverted using overlap and add. Our overlap add stereogram, or OLAS, implements this inversion, providing a superior result despite having the same amount of information as the accurate phase add stereogram. Now we show simulated and captured results of the OLAS method. First, we see refocusing with the mirror in the scene. Despite the depth map showing the mirror as a flat rectangle, the OLAS enables focus to different depths. This would be impossible for CGH algorithms that do not use a light field. Next, we show a scene with parallax. Compared to a simple Fresnel propagation, the OLAS produces more realistic parallax and occlusion, especially noticeable in the circled locations.